Elephant Heaven at Dawn, a totally secular and artistic representation of the elephant in afterlife, complete with an obscene amount of peanuts, because elephants love peanuts, right? Is uh, been told. Anyway, salty peanuts represent sodium here at Sketchy. And this many peanuts so high in the sky should make you think of lots of sodium, like in hypernatremia, which incidentally is what this sketch is on. As a reminder that it's hyper and not hypo, see how brightly lit this early morning is becoming? To remind you that serum sodium in hypernatremia has risen, just like the morning sun will. Specifically, it's risen over 145. Hence why the elephant on this peanut-shaped cloud is handily shaped like the number 145. This imbalance is typically caused by either an excess of free water loss, or much less commonly, by an increase in sodium intake. Because high sodium normally stimulates both the thirst response, which increases free water intake, and ADH release, which preserves free water at the kidney, Patients with an intact thirst response and access to fresh water typically don't become hypernatremic, but patients without one of these are at higher risk for hypernatremia. Think the very young, like this cutie patootie baby elephant, or very old, like this wizened and wrinkly elderly elephant. Other patients at risk include immobilized patients, those in long-term care facilities, and those with dementia or other neuropsychiatric conditions that impair thirst. Symptoms of hypernatremia are typically neurologic and include altered mental status, irritability, lethargy, and progression to seizures and coma. So, patients are confused and irritable, just like this elephant who was just woken up by their alarm clock. And just like me when I woke up this morning. And the alarm clock itself should remind you that symptoms are more likely to occur in acute hypernatremia, meaning the onset occurred within the last 48 hours, or if the level of hypernatremia is very high. On the other hand, chronic hypernatremia, or hypernatremia existing for more than 48 hours, is more common, and patients may be asymptomatic or have very mild symptoms. So we've brought in our smiling chronic grandfather clock as a reminder. 